Yeah, thanks. Thank you for hosting this uh, webinar and uh, thank you for the invitation to um, to present uh, to Circles Technology. Um, my name is uh, Nicolas Schlettebeur. I'm CEO in Two Circle. I've been working here for many years, <coughs> mostly with the technology. And uh, I have a background from, from oil and gas and, uh, and education as a mechanical engineer. I'll give you a short introduction to, to Two Circle and uh, talk a bit about our products and our core te technology and uh, our applications. So Two Circle, very short, is uh, a small Norwegian company focusing on, on clean tech, on waste heat recovery systems. Um, we're located in, uh, in Oslo, where I'm right now, and we have a workshop and test facilities in uh, Glomfjord in the north of Norway. So Glomfjord is, is uh, yeah, you see on the map, it's, uh, it's in the center of Norway almost. It's not very central, but um, it's, a, it's a good place to be. We have access to, to waste steam from uh, from the fertilizer producer Yara, which is in the in the industry park that we're in up there. Um, our products, we uh, deliver systems to recover waste heat, basically in two ways. Uh, it's about uh, producing electricity uh, using our system as a heat engine or or upgrading it to high temperature heat. Uh, so this is uh, today's topic, and it's also two circles focus at the moment. So, and and even more specifically, we are right now uh, trying to go into market with our first products, and that's uh, an MVR uh, system. Um, these systems are uh, are. Uh, are based on uh, a rotating machine. So this is Two Circles core technology. It's it's our uh, invention, so to speak. We have been working for many years with uh, with um, uh, with rotating machinery, um, and uh, spent a lot of time on on concepts very close to to uh, uh, a rotary vane machine. Um, a few years back, we we realized that uh, the technology became too complex for us. So we decided to to and we couldn't really we couldn't really uh, get the stable technology because of it. So we decided to uh, to put together all the things we learned together with uh, the requirements that we met from our clients and and. Uh, we started uh, investigating a new concept, which is uh, what we're currently working with. So, the idea of this machine, this is in, in a, an MVR. This is the this is the compressor. Uh, we see from our clients the demand for higher temperatures. This is designed for for uh, 220 degrees. Uh, there is a requirement for for uh, not polluting the working fluid or the steam with oil. So this machine is also uh, oil free. Um, uh, this is done by having uh, uh, a, a mechanism that needs oil lubrication still, but it's placed outside and, and totally separated from the working chamber. So there is no lubricant in the working chamber. Um, it needs to handle uh, low grade or, or low quality steam. We are comp compressing waste steam uh, directly, as I will will show in the application. So uh, it's built to handle two phase flow. We also use that ability by by uh, injecting liquid into the compressor chamber. Uh, and the whole concept is made to be uh, robust and simple. That's the idea. So in the in the machine in the compression chamber, it's only two moving parts, and that gives uh, high reliability and and simple systems really. So to explain this about the, the idea of using two phase, of course, is uh, is first and foremost because it 
it can handle the liquid that's present in the in the waste heat flow, so in the waste steam that we have to handle, uh, which is important. And uh, it also allows us to inject liquid directly into the working chamber as really as much as we'd like. So, uh, so by doing that, uh, we keep the the working fluid of the steam here at the saturation line. So there is no superheating of the steam unless you want it. Of course, we can inject less liquid to to achieve some superheating. That means this, the steam is delivered on the saturation line. Um, and that allows us to deliver higher temperatures uh, without superheating to excessive temperatures. So uh, yeah, you see in the pH diagram here that the blue line is the, the, the compression line that we follow. We start with two phase, we inject liquid and end up ideally for the most effective uh, or efficient compression on the saturation line. Um, so, oh. <laughs> uh, in addition to this, the compressor uh, is designed to allow a high compression ratio, and so you need fewer compression stages for a certain pressure lift. And this together means that we have a, a, a quite simple and robust uh, MBR system. Um, this system is uh, the, oh, this compressor as well, really, but but our MBR system is made uh, in the project called Free to Heat, which we are uh, which we're running together with uh, Norwegian Research Institute Sintef, and it's funded by the research the Research Council of Norway, and we have an end user uh, that's called Biwedetu, and they are uh, they are delivering systems to dry. Uh, fish sludge from land-based uh, fish farming. So normally uh, in the dryer they they use uh, superheated steam that's generated by by uh, use of fossil fuel or here in Norway they often use electricity uh, to heat that uh, that steam cycle the drying steam cycle to from 100 degrees to 150 and uh, the, the waste steam, what the moisture evaporates from the uh, from the fish sludge, is just uh, discarded. So the idea of this project is to to instead of discard the waste steam, you capture it and uh, and compress it directly in uh, in an MVR system and feed it back as a heat source uh, that heats up the the superheated steam cycle. Um, and by doing this, you will replace this uh, the electric or, or fossil fueled heater. So this uh, this system is uh, is built. This is uh, uh, this is it really. <laughs> it's um, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, steam in on the top on the top uh, line here. It goes into the compressor, which is the, the gray bit in the middle. And uh, it's, com it's captured at atmospheric pressure and compressed here in one stage up to, to five bar. And uh, 152 degrees, uh, or slightly above, and then delivered back to the dryer. So, uh, so as you see here, this is the compressor. It has an electric motor. It has a oil lubrication system. Uh, it has a condensate handling system. This handles the condensate that comes uh, back from the uh, from the heat exchanger, and some of that condensate is then uh, injected directly into the compressor again. Um, so here there is uh, we we take this moisture that evaporates uh, from the dried product. Directly, there is no pretreatment or or anything before it goes into the compressor, and it's, it's compressed directly back up and delivered back. So this uh, skid here is uh, is five meters long, two meters wide, and two point three meters high. Uh, in the future, it will be it will be smaller. Uh, this is a pilot skid, so it's not really 
having the focus on making it compact. Um, uh, this was built. Uh, this was actually this, this was finished about one year ago, and uh, then uh, Bio Retour uh, experienced a delay in in the building of the um, of the facilities that their dryer were were going to be installed in. So uh, so this has actually not been finished yet. So we had a finished MVR system, and we then uh, uh, came into discussions with. Um, uh, with Norwegian company Scanship, which has a, a similar system, a, a drying system installed uh, in a waste management plant uh, very close to Oslo, actually. So this was ideal for us. And they uh, had tried different technologies for at least one technology for, for MVR before. And so, the, so everything was ready there to install an, an MVR system. So we brought the whole skid there. And it went into pilot uh, operation for the first time in May uh, last year and ran uh, a bit on and off, I have to say, uh, until uh, Christmas last year when we brought it back to to our workshop in, in Glomfjord and um, where it's now being rebuilt to to be fitted to the to the fish sludge drying application again. So at Lindum, Scanship is drying uh, bio waste. They're producing biochar by pyrolyzing it. Uh, and they have to dry it first. So this is all kinds of, of uh, bio waste, like garden waste, for example. Um, it's a batch operation. Uh, and we here suck the, 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 the moisture that evaporates from that that um, that waste directly into the compressor and uh, compresses it up and delivers it back to the dryer. Um, without the MVR, they are producing heat uh, uh, also in the form of steam for the dryer by means of a, a, um, a diesel fired uh, steam generator. And when we ran the MVR system, we were able to fully uh, eliminate that uh, uh, that uh, steam generator. Um, when it comes to COP uh, or energy savings, uh, we had, uh, of course, you see it's uh, it's um, uh, it's more to be done here. But uh, at the demonstration site, we had about uh, 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 a saving of 50%, a COP of two. Um, in house, in our own workshop, we run it to a COP of uh, little about three. Um, the next version is uh, we see will be a bit more efficient. This is all about the compressor efficiency. This is where we are uh, improving right now. So, so uh, we see that a COP of four is uh, should be well within range, and and for this similar application to this. Um, higher than that as well, but of course, uh, <laughs> the, the development of or the the increasing of efficiency is it pays much more going from uh, from a COP of one to a COP of two than going from four to five. So, and we also got a lot of interest uh, for the system as it is. So you see the lower picture here is the is the Norwegian Minister of uh, Oil and Energy uh, visiting us at uh, at Linden and and several clients as well. So this has led to for us um, having a look at where we stand now. We uh, we see that we need to continue the development, but it's so much interest for this right now that we are uh, going into market with it as it is. We say we are at TRL 7 uh, because we want to, uh, we need more running hours simply before we are confident enough to say that we are at TRL 8. Uh, but still we are quoting this to customers. Uh, we have quotations out now and we are, which we hope of course to, to, to get some um, uh, orders. Um, 
because we have uh, limited, a bit limited uh, running experience, we are offering this as a, uh, either as a sales, uh, a normal sale of a system uh, where we uh, where we have a service agreement where Two Circle will will sort of um, guarantee the uptime of the system. And we also now have started to offer this as a service, uh, which means that uh, uh, Two Circle takes all the costs for the system and all the costs for uh, operating the system and installing it. And we simply find a way to split the, the, this, the energy or the, the cost savings on the energy with, with the client. Uh, so this is, of course, this is interesting because it it removes a lot of uh, of the client's risk with going with uh, with uh, quite new technology. So and therefore, it also generates a lot of interest. So um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you.